Okay, we're back with part two. I've got all retied a hook on here. And uh, this one should be a lot stronger tie. Same, same setup, just a better tie on, the, on the, the knot. And we will just go for it again. We're just going to hook this worm up here, right there. And one more little insert. Okay, here we go. We're ready. Now, okay, now, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cast right out there, right on the front corner again, and we're just going to see what happens. I've got no weight. There's no weight. There's just the worm, the weight of the worm, the hook, and the orange bead. So there is no split shot on there. So it's all very light, very natural going down I believe as natural as you can get stuff the better I learned a lot of that stuff from Richard Jean I mean when he goes well we got oh we got a nice bite got a nice bite and whatever it was it only left a little part of the worm but it was definitely a nice bite let's go back with this little part of the worm and see what happens Okay, I'm going to go over here. Let's see. Here we go. Okay, come on. Get, maybe get one of these little tiny dudes. But anyway, Richard Jean, I, I mean, I, I just admire what he does and how he teaches. And I mention him quite often. But I watched a video the other day, and he was going for... I think bluegill in a stream and he was looking under rocks and stuff of what they're eating so we're getting some bites out here it's a little guy but it's it's biting I think it what definitely a little dude it's not even pulling this bobber down okay I think we got him Okay, we got the first fish on here with the new camera set up. We'll just reel him up here. Look at that little guy. You are the first one to get your face on the new camera set up. Welcome. Look at that. Nice guy. So we'll get you off, put you back in, and grow up another day or feed some of the bass in here. So we'll just take off that worm. We'll go put another one on. Okay. But yeah, I, I just appreciate that Richard Jean, he teaches if you're if you're going someplace, look look at what the natural forage is um, for where you're going. I know in my other neighbor's tank, I haven't fished there well over a year because of the water conditions, but he's got fish in there now, and I have res resupplied his tank by catching from what I call my honey hole and if you guys have been around with me for a while you've watched some of those videos it's my little honey hole right off the service road of I-20 here in Texas and so I put about 70 fish back in his tank and he's got nice water in it now Tell you what I'm going to do, I'm going to slip this bobber up a little bit more and go a little bit deeper and see if we got something bigger a little bit deeper. So here we go. Okay. But anyway, you know, when I started fishing over at my other neighbor's tank, I started noticing right away there were lots of little frogs around the edge. I'm already getting a bite. And so I went and got a, a, saf, a soft plastic little bait that looked like a little frog. And man, I'll tell you what, as soon as I put it in there, I, I, got, I got fish out of there. Now that was when I started, but I haven't been, like I said, I haven't been back there over a year. So 
It's a whole different ball game now because he's actually got more water in his tank uh, than he had before. Okay, there's a little bite. Okay, we got us a fish. We, oh, this is, whoa, what do we got here? Well, we got something that's wanting to fight pretty good. Oh, do we, what do we got? Oh, man. I'm pretty sure that was a bass. I'm pretty sure that was a bass. They, get, they hang around this dock all the time. Of course, I got catfish around, but that, that was running around like a bass, not like a catfish. I'm going to just kind of pop it down right close, right close to the edge here, just to see what we got. Okay, we're getting a bite already. Okay, we got a nice, another little bluegill. Yeah, we got you, dude. Oh, you swallowed that hook. I hate when they do that. Yeah, this is dangerous. Mm, okay. Mm, he really bit into it. Even with this small hook. I don't know. This might be going home. I hate to hurt him. I really do. I don't know whether to put him in. Well, we'll see what happens. He's still flopping around. Okay, little guy. Will you make it? He swam off. He swam off, so that's good. Even with these small hooks, uh, they, they just suck it up. I know some guys said, well, you're waiting too long to, you know, to set your hook. Yeah, that could be. Yeah, that's always a possibility. I didn't make this one barbless. I tried to do that. I learned that from Jimmy Houston. If I make these barbless, it's always a lot easier to get them off. But sometimes they'll, uh, what is, oh, he's swimming around down there. He's all right. Yeah. Uh, what was that? A little farther out. Whoops. Got this appendage on my... Yeah, they're biting. Okay, we got one. We got one this time. A lot better, quicker, quicker hook set, I think. Let's see if I'm right. Yep, this little guy's a lot better. Yeah, come on, show your face. There we go. And you got the whole worm in one shot. Okay. Okay, go and join your buddy. Okay, there we go. Well, I think I'll take a couple more casts. In fact, I'm going to do a little left side cast. Because usually I don't get much over. I, I just don't understand uh, fish. But I believe this side, this right side, is a spawning area. Because it seems like I catch more fish on this side than I do on the left side. Now, I, I have caught some on the left side, that's for sure, and hooked up several times with old channel cat and uh so we'll just see what's happening on the left side this used to be the side when the t when this tank was all filled up where i would get all good numbers of crappie and it's been a couple months now i actually got my crappie PB casting on this side a couple months ago is a 15 inch crappie rather skinny but definitely a very nice crappie I'm getting ready to go down to Sam Rayburn for my birthday in August and I'm going with my buddy Texas Joe Texas Joe's 
Fishing and Crappie Adventures down in Brooklyn, Texas. Also, they have a restaurant, Texas Joe's Barbecue. And so I'll be going down there. Texas Joe is a classmate of my wife from Missouri. And he's been here in Texas quite a while, has a great guiding business. So if you get down and want to go to do some great crappie fishing on Lake Sam Rayburn, go to Brooklyn, Texas and ask for Texas Joe. Whoa, we're gonna be getting some rain here in a little bit, I think. He's down on the, I think it's called the Mill Creek Parkway. It's right down, there's, there is a, I think it's a, a government park down there, which they're having some problems with because the U.S. government isn't opening it up, so people can't get down there. I know I've stayed down there once in a massive rainstorm in my tent. That was really exciting. But uh, anyway, if, if you get down that way or you want to go, just look him up. I might have to show up his business card or something in the future. Okay, just like I said, we're not getting anything. Let me go a little closer to the bank, see what happens there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. We're a lot closer to the bank now. Just gonna let it sit there, let that worm drop down. And then I'll just kind of slowly reel it towards me. This seems to be the most effective way that I've found anyway. We'll just see what happens. I watched Tyler this morning on Tyler's Reel Fishing, and he has a deal called 100 Ponds. I think he said he's up to number 88. And uh, he was fishing at a place, I'm assuming up in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. It was pretty low also. But he was using a, a frog bait, topwater bait, and pulled up about a 10 or 12 inch bullfrog that attacked it. So, frog on frog. Okay, we're not getting anything over here, so let's go back over to the bite size. Now that I've got this set up, I can spend a lot more time walking around the edges of the lake and show you a lot more of what's going on around it. Because this is about two and a half, perhaps almost three acre body of water. There are some bigger around here, but this, this one's the closest to my house. I mean, right next door, you don't get, oh, we got something on. And we just got something off. No, we, no, that was a second, secondary bite. But you don't get a blessing better than that, that. From where I'm at right here on the dock up to my house is maybe a mile. Absolutely awesome. Okay, let's see. I'm going to go kind of rehook this. It's kind of like a drowned, drowned worm right now. Rehook it on here. Yeah, a little piece came off. It gets pretty soft. This water's kind of warm. I didn't bring down any ice to my worms. I usually bring a big cup or box that's got ice in it. And, but I didn't bring it down because I got so excited about using this today. But I think we'll make maybe one more cast or one more worm, I guess and see what we got. Oh yeah, look at that. Jumping out of the water even. Come on. 
Yeah, come on. Look at that little guy. I think this is maybe be the biggest one of the day. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, dude, what do you say? We going to get you unhooked? Oh, you got a deep one again. Uh, I hate that. I don't know. We'll see. Come on. Oh, not too bad. He got such a hard mouth. He's, I don't know. Hang in there, dude. Yeah. He's worse than that other one. I think you're going home. Yeah. Right down in the gills. Uh, okay, well, he's going home. Yeah, there he is. Yeah. <coughs> okay. We got this. I'm just going to make this the last worm. I've still got some left. We're just going to leave it out there. And we'll just see what we got. And we've already got something. That yeah, got a... Probably got the worm. Yeah, he did. Okay, we will do one more worm. Okay, Wormy, let's get on out there and see what you can catch. Okay, you are definitely a lively dude. And I'm gonna go down a little bit deeper. And we'll see what happens. Move the bobber up about another inch. And we will go from there. Okay, a little different angle now. It bites. Just little bites. Oh, we 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 got a little. Oh, got off. There's a little dude. Okay, what do we got? Now about right there. If you can see that bobber, right out there where that bobber is. 